Yeah. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics yeah, that's trending on V103. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time for the trending topics. 411 on your favorite folks. Before I introduce this lady who's starting stuff out here in these ATL streets, <laughs> let me tell you two quick stories. Rallo! Did you hear about Rallo? Things are continuing to look crazy for Rallo. Okay, federal documents have been released to detail the specifics of his arrest over the weekend. The biggest bombshells in the affidavit, which were filed in the U.S. District Court, alleged that Rollo is the leader of a criminal street gang responsible for smuggling nearly $2 million worth of marijuana into Georgia, according to Fox 5 News. WSB-TV reports Rollo and others have been charged with two counts of conspiracy to distribute marijuana. His lawyer says Rollo will plead not guilty. Last December, a million dollars worth of marijuana was seized not too far from the Atlanta's Fulton County Airport. Three people allegedly linked to Rollo were arrested after a surveillance team spotted 37 packages wrapped in holiday paper being transferred from a private plane to a van. The van was registered to Rollo, pulled over shortly departing the airport. Even Rollo appeared to allude to the loss the very next day on Instagram writing, I've lost more than a man has gained in a lifetime. Have you often lost a million dollars in one time? Did you really do you? Come on, Rallo. Story developing. Another story that has been brought to me by uh, courtesy the Jasmine Brand. The game is asking the judge that he be not found in contempt over submitting financial documents in his legal battle against Priscilla Rainey. She says he's trying to hide the millions of dollars to avoid paying her. He's facing a lawsuit. Uh, she claims during the production he ra- he sexually assaulted her. She says that the game forcefully reached inside a dress, rubbing her bare, yeah, that area. And as a result, a jury awarded her $7 million. He filed an appeal, and the decision is pending. But he acting like he ain't got it. I ain't got it. Story developing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the lady who's brought to you so many amazing stories over the years and circumstance and who currently has this Stevie J, Tracy Steele thing on fire. Hi, Jasmine. Tigger. Jasmine Brand. I'm so so happy to be here. You and I go, you know, Stevie J and drama side. You and I go way back. We do. DC day. I've watched you grow and I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. And Tigger, you know, I've had, we have some stories about you and you've always... We try to keep you out of there, Tigger. The Amen Church and Tabernacle. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah, Shabbat. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm here in L.A. doing. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not in L.A. I live in L.A. I'm in Atlanta. We're right. doing the Earnest Living Tour. It's a tour for millennials about branding and entertainment. And um, we have Nick Cannon that's going to be there. We have. Uh, oh, he did tell me he was coming back this Saturday. Tammy okay. Roman is going to be yeah. there, and Ernest Dukes, who is here in the studio with us, is his tour. I'm going to be speaking on the tour. Okay. It's going to be really cool. So I want everyone to come out. Tickets are on sale on the Ernest Living Tour. ErnestLivingTour.com, right? Yep. Says yes. Yep. So that's what I'm here in town for. And it just happened to coincide with the drama. Yeah, you pulled up at the exact time that it was happening. The timing is impeccable, right? Let me let me ask you, and lots of people never get to ask, find a person who writes these things. Well, let me clarify. <laughs> you don't write anymore. I don't. When I first started the site, it was just me. Right. So I did not write. I now, it's. I have a co-owner. His name is Meyer Faddle. Shout out to him. But we have a team of writers, okay? So it's just your name. It's my name. <laughs> but here's the thing. I didn't know the site was going to, t- I started the site as a hobby Tigger. Right. I didn't know that it was going to take off and I would have, it would be a full-time thing and I'd have staff and correspondence. I didn't know that. Good for you. Otherwise, I would have named it something else. <laughs> now then, now then I got we people. wouldn't know go, who you are. Which would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do people get upset at you? You know, people get upset at me on social media. When I'm out, people say things, but it's really more, it's not, it's it's really like they're questioning me, but I, a lot of times I'm not really familiar with the story or whatever. Okay, you know what I mean? because you haven't written Cause it. Because I, I didn't write it. Okay. So um, people do come up to me, but it's never nothing. You know, people are tougher on online anyway celebrities oh, are yeah, tougher yeah. online Twitter fingers. yeah tw- <laughs> and, and, and celebrities get mad like tigger you text me before not nasty but you've hit me before like hey or you know people yeah. say stuff you know but it's it's i can handle it it's part of the game you know what i mean but it's 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 you know a lot of times these celebrities put this stuff out there themselves mm. so you can't be upset with us for reporting mm. what you say and i and i i do i do feel like we try to stay neutral we try to tell you what the facts are we give you exclusives we give you court documents okay. we tell you we so say that, allegedly that was my next question yes what, there's been questions about standards like yes 
newspapers and news outlets have right. a standard. They have to have verified this, that, and the other. Well, blogs can just write whatever the hell they want to write. They can, and I don't consider, I don't consider, I consider ourselves an entertainment site. I feel uh-huh. like a blog is like one person sitting behind their computer. They don't, you know, we call, we have to fact check. We have to have more than one source. Okay. We usually call and, requ- and ask for comment. You know, some, sometimes people say something, sometimes we don't. So we have a process, but you know, we are, we do protect ourselves. We have a, a legal team and we do okay. use words like allegedly and spe- those speculated. Are, those and, are big words. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but the thing is, a lot of times, you know, celebrities lie. We'll ask them, and they'll lie in your face and be like, "No, that's not the case." And then I have a court document sitting right here saying, "Saying what you went to court for it, though." Right. So, um, but so there are different standards, and you know, everyone doesn't always get it right. Neither does do, neither do the big outlets either. Right. But we try to like you know operate in integrity and stuff like I, that. I give you, a, they're fair. We Some try to be fair. People are not fair. But and, it's, and I don't talk to them people. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> people are not fair, and that's okay. There's a lane for the 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 ratchetness and the Ratchet funny treat. stuff and there's a lane for the fan. You know, it's, it's enough for all of us to eat and everyone has their own kind of thing that works for them. Jasmine Brand in the studio on part of the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Of course, the jasminebrand.com and they can follow you yourself. They can follow uh, us at the Jasmine Brand underscore on Instagram and of course the jasminebrand.com and I want everybody to come out to the Ernest Living Tour tomorrow in Atlanta. Here. Ernest the, Living Tour yes, dot com. Yes. Where you get the tickets. Yes. Nice to meet you, Ernest. He doesn't say much. He's cool. <laughs> Jasmine, good seeing you. Good seeing you. Thank you for so much for having me. I want to come back. I can't wait for another big story to, to be, bring more drama. Do. We got, yeah, you start stuff out here on V103. <laughs>